Hi, this is a video tutorial for how to quickly and easily get journaling strips onto your digital scrapbooking page. What I have here already is a mostly completed layout because I like to save journaling strips for the very last step. There's already a spot here that I've planned for my journaling strips to go on and it's right here. This product, by the way, is a quick page from my movie time collection with WM Square Designs. You'll see I have my photo on the bottom, the quick page above it. Um, I've added a date stamps, which is from my date stamps bundle, also in shop. And I already have my text layer for my journaling. It's very important that this text layer goes on top of every other layer in your page. The second layer that goes right below your text is the paper you're going to use for your journaling strip. What you're going to do next is use your marquee tool to select your first shape for a paper strip. So I'm going to do that now here. Your next step is to copy merged these two layers, your text layer with your paper layer. I like to use a shortcut for that. I'm on a Mac. I use Command Shift C um, on Windows. That would be Control Shift C. If you like to use your menu options instead of shortcuts, you'll find Copy Merged in the Edit menu. So I've already Copy Merged. Now I'm just going to Paste. Again, I like to use a shortcut for that, Command V. And what's just happened is it looks kind of like I only maybe duplicated my text layer. Did you see the text get darker in that spot? But that didn't happen. If, you, if I hide my text and paper layers right here, what you see is I've created a journal strip. And I can move it around, add a shadow to it or whatever. And what we're going to do now is just repeat that process till we've created all of our strips and just wait. This goes so fast. You're going to be so happy about this process. So I go back. I'm going to use my marquee tool. I just drag and select, copy, merge, paste. Select, copy, merge, paste. Select, copy, merge, paste. Select, copy, merge, paste. And that's it. Now, I, the next thing to do, all you have left is hide your text layer and the paper strip layer. I now have completely individualized layers with all of my journaling on them. I can quickly select all of them to add a shadow. You'll see my last layer I made is already selected. If I hold down the shift button and select the bottom most layer, they all get selected at the same time. I just add a little paper style and now I can activate my move tool and move them one at a time, group them together in whatever way I think works best for my page. All right, so let me show you my final product. I'm going to hide the ones I just made. And these are my final ones that I went with. And you're done. You're good to go. Hope you enjoyed that. Please don't forget to share any pages you make with me using this tip. I would love to see it and hear about um, if that increased your workflow and made stuff easier for you. Have a good day.